Good morning from Brussels. Uh, first of all, I would like to, to thank the organizer for this uh, particular interesting event. Uh, it's an honor for me to participate in this event in the presence of Commissioner Kyriakidis and Minister Previs. I would like to start with, uh, with my slides, starting with the first slide uh, and the second one, please. And uh, I would like to, to focus on just one, only one number presented in my first slide. According to 2020's research in population of Western countries, the number of individuals living after a cancer diagnosis is growing by approximately 3% annually. They currently represent more than 5% of the overall population in several countries. This means in Europe, it is 12 million people. In that direction, we start working in the European Parliament on the Europe beating uh, pl cancer plan. And it is important to say that uh, we done our job in the Parliament, we conclude our job. And I was very honored to, to participate in this effort as a full member of the Becker Committee, which was the ad hoc committee responsible for the EU beating cancer plan. Now, and please go to my third slide, it is important to explain on which parameters this new plan is based. It is based on prevention to prevent the preventable. It is based also in early detection and diagnosis, intervene early. It is based on treatment and care access to the best treatment for all, quality of life, of course, for cancer, cancer patients, survivors and carers living well after cancer, it is important to say, knowledge, data and scientific evidence understanding cancer better. In this regard, this new plan is structured in four key action areas with 10 flagship initiatives and multiple supporting actions. And it will be implemented using the whole range of EU funding instruments with a total of 4 billion being earmarked for actions addressing cancer, including sources coming from the EU for Health program, Horizon Europe, and the Digital Europe program. As I've already said, it is based in the, in the, in the, in the access that uh, we, you have already presented, but it is important to say that it is based also on two horizontal parameters. It is the coordinated actions and the use of advanced digital tools. In this regard, as the Commission has already explained, to support new technologies, research, and innovation, a new knowledge center of cancer is expected to launch to, to help coordinate scientific and technical cancer-related initiatives at EU level. Furthermore, a European Cancer Imaging Initiative will be set up to support the development of new computer-aided tools to improve personalized medicine and innovative solutions. So important is to say that uh, in this uh, beating cancer plan, we include the Helping Children with Cancer Initiative to ensure that children have access to rapid and optimal detection, diagnosis, treatment, and care. Finally, to identify threats, disparities, and inequalities between the member states and regions, a cancer inequalities register was established in 2021. And going to the fourth slide, uh, it is important and crucial to proceed with the implementation of the European Beating Cancer Plan. Uh, in this regard, I would like to, to focus on four, on three elements to start with. And the first one, the key elements of the project success has been exchanging experience and knowledge of treating cancer patients. Regional competitiveness and cross-border cooperation will provide the capacity for researchers and clinicians to access genomic data cross-border in the EU and analyze and compare patients' genetic and clinical information. Cross-border cooperation, according to my opinion, is one of the main parameters that it will finally uh, conclude the success of this project. And of course, the second parameter is the real innovation. Real innovation in medicine. And uh, allow me to, to say that uh, we don't need any more Me Too. We have to avoid Me Too treatments. We have to work not on similar medicines without any real added value to the people fighting with cancer. And we have to focus our effort in real innovation, real innovative treatments and personalized medicines in order to, to, to beat cancer. In this regard, funding to R&D is very important. And I think that one of the, of the key issues that we have to tackle is how should, finally, should, should, we, should we finally uh, streamline and uh, uh, create additional uh, additional impact on, on, the, on using 
the existing financial instruments in order to have real, real innovative treatments. In this regard, sometimes uh, this kind of funding coming from the European taxpayers' money will be used uh, in order to bridge the gap of market failure, especially in cases on, uh, concerning uh, uh, pediatric, uh, pediatric cancer treatments. And uh, the third parameter is prevention and early detection. You have already mentioned it, and it is important to, to say that the Greek government is proceeding very rapidly to, to this aspect. I would like also to say that vaccination programs are very, very important. And uh, uh, by saying this, I am, uh, I am uh, uh, very much in favor of leading by example. I would like to, to say that uh, I have two kids. They are now 13. And it is a girl and a boy. And uh, they have both been vaccinated for HPV. I think it is important uh, to proceed with this program in Greece. And I would like to congratulate Minister Plevers for adapting uh, this kind of, of projects. Of course, it's free screening for different types of cancer in the middle age, and it's also raising awareness, which is one of the key aspects that we have to work upon, especially when we want to promote the European code against cancer. And uh, let me go to the fifth slide to, stay, to say something very timely and relevant to our discussion because the minister has already mentioned it and it is important to say that the clinical trials regulation ended into force on the 13th January of 2022 is aimed to, to ensure the EU offers an attractive and favorable environment for carrying out clinical research on a large scale with high standards of public transparency and safety for clinical trial participants. This regulation, enables sponsor to submit the online uh, application via a single online platform known as the Clinical Trials Information System for approval to run a clinical trial in several European countries, making it more efficient to carry out such multinational trials. The regulation also makes it more efficient for EU member states to evaluate and to authorize such application together via Clinical Trials Information System. So the, uh, the purpose of the, the, this regulation is to, to foster innovation and research in the EU, facilitating the conduct of larger clinical trials in multiple EU member states. And of course, other key benefits of the regulation include improving information sharing and collective decision making on clinical trials, increasing transparency of information on clinical trials, and ensuring high standards of safety for all participants in EU clinical trials. Allow me to say that it is a huge opportunity for Greece. And I also congratulate Minister Previs for his uh, uh, proposal that uh, Greece has to proceed uh, maybe to step up uh, in, in clinical trials. Greece is important to, to, to have finally uh, the opportunity to become a clinical trials hub and it will have a huge social, scientific and economic impact. I insist also, also at the economic impact because according to a study of PwC, an investment of 0.5 billion euros in pharma and R&D, particularly in the field of clinical trials, could result in 1 billion increase of Greek GDP, 108 million revenues from taxes, and uh, 23,000 new jobs position. And by concluding with my last slide, I think that uh, it is important to build upon experience. Gathering policy, intelligence, and building skills for increased impact is a collective exercise. The most important step we have to succeed is until now is the fact that the full cancer community across Europe was engaged in the design and will be engaged in the implementation of Europe beating cancer plan. That will assist in get things right first time. Once again, thank you very much for the invite and I'll be at your disposal for the next hour for any possible question. Thank you very much once again.